it's easy to control people which want scared, controlling your hours, controlling your sleeping, controlling your money, controlling everything what you have. Larunas was just 19 when he was trafficked from Lithuania to work catching chickens on factory farms across the UK. He was promised good pay and conditions, but when he started working for a Kent gangmaster couple, Daryl Houghton and Jacqueline Judge, the reality was very different. We don't was told how many hours, uh, how many days you need work, nothing. This was said you need, you gonna catch chickens. Larunas and other migrant workers were put in houses that were dirty, damp, and overcrowded. From outside, it's not, we don't was look at that. But when I'm getting inside, I was shocked straight away. But I don't was uh, have a choice when go back and I was need to stay. As all the people were sleeping on a, in a big bedroom on a mattress on a floor and the two box rooms was with double-sized beds where was living two peoples. The Houghtons ran a chicken catching service out of Maidstone, supplying the biggest egg producers in the UK. They bust migrants to clear out poultry sheds on hundreds of farms day and night. They supplied labour to Noble Foods, owner of the Happy Egg brand. Because happy hens lay really tasty eggs. And the migrants worked on farms whose eggs were sold in Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, M&S and McDonald's. Larunas ended up in a team of Lithuanians, driven for days at a time to work back-to-back -back shifts catching the birds. It was dangerous and dirty work. You need to stand about two, two hours without a break and you need bands up, bands up. You get scratch of the chickens, you get uh, pukes all over you, chickens, chickens jump in your face. One of supervisor beat two peoples and uh, once nearly I get beaten to try to help uh, him up from floors. In 2012, the police raided the Houghton's addresses and arrested the couple. They liberated around 30 suspected victims of trafficking. The Guardian revealed the supply chain back then. But three years on, no charges have been brought against the Houghtons or anyone else. So now Larunas and his fellow workers have come forward to tell their story publicly for the first time. They're suing the Houghtons for damages. The first case of a UK company being sued for claims relating to modern slavery. I was working eight hours in a farm sit in a van, driving two hours to next farm, working again about eight hours, sit in a van, getting back, working again eight or six hours. The workers weren't told where they were going, nor how long they'd be away. They were just told to get in the minivan on a Sunday afternoon, and sometimes didn't return to Maidstone for days at a time. They had no proper sleep, and their food ran out. They were denied toilet stops, and were forced to urinate into bottles and even defecate into carrier bags while in the van. The Houghtons worked closely with a Lithuanian associate called Edicus Mankovicius. Workers said he assaulted them, withheld pay to punish them, and let his fighting dogs bite them. Edicus sometimes was punishing just one person, or sometimes Edicus was punishing all the house for one person's mistakes, like standing don't wash the cup on a side with coffee. That's it, you don't get wages. Once when I was broke, my ribs, him was, him said me, uh, pack your stuff and get out. I say, first I want my two weeks wages. Him say, no chance. And him say, you can have two day rest. And him give me two day rest with broken ribs. It's easy to control people which ones are scared and don't, don't know where to go to look for help controlling your free time, controlling your hours, controlling your sleeping, controlling your money, controlling everything what you have. Uh, over there, it's farm over there, turn around. Larunas and the men were often sent to one of the biggest chicken farms in the country, Longbelt Farm in Nottinghamshire. It houses over a million chickens. It's owned by Noble Foods, which along with its chairman, Peter Dean, has been a major donor to the Conservative Party. Larunas agreed to go back with us to revisit his experience. 
That's the main office over there. Oh yeah, you can see also all buildings. Chicken farm, three floors. Mr. Babylon's obviously got some sort of grievance with Houghtons. 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 DJ Houghtons. Chicken oh, service. Yeah, I know you mean. Yeah, yeah, I know you mean. David Cameron has promised to tackle modern slavery, but the victims of trafficking working here seem to have been invisible. I don't know why, but when I get out of the car next to the farm, my whole body starts shaking. <laughs> I never think to, when I left Lithuania, I'm gonna end up like that. I lost the trust. I'm lost the trust of people. To start being more careful and uh, not believe the people's what they're saying. Who was keeping us like a slaves and then trafficking? I think that people supposed to be punished. The Houghtons had their license revoked by the Gangmaster Licensing Authority in 2012. It was the second time they had had their license removed. They have now applied for a new one, and the final decision is still awaited. Edicus had gone back to Lithuania when the police raided. The police still want to interview him about the case. They have a UK arrest warrant for him, but no European one. Noble Foods said they had immediately stopped using the Houghtons after the raid. Along with the retailers, they say they've introduced new processes and audits to make sure it cannot happen again. The Lithuanian workers' civil case for damages has a hearing in the High Court this week. The Houghtons didn't respond to our requests for comment. They've told local media in the past that they are blameless and that the allegations are untrue. This is the story of globalized slavery. The story of how giant international supermarkets are selling prawns fed by slave labor. Cheap for us to buy, the human cost of their production is unimaginable.